Hi, I'm Anna Tourkakis from RCTV, and you are? I'm Erlinda Seitz from the Reading Symphony Orchestra. And tell us a little bit about the Reading Symphony Orchestra. The Reading Symphony Orchestra has been in Reading for the last 86 years. And um, we are a community orchestra. We are not professional, but we do a great job very dedicated people and um, we have three concerts every year the first concert is going to be in the at, in December more in December another in March and the last time the last one will be the pops concert in May um, we like people in Reading to really find out that we are here that they have great music going on right here in their backyard so how does somebody become a member if they want to participate in the, in the uh, symphony? Excuse me again? How does somebody become a member if they want to participate in the symphony? Oh, the symphony has right now um, auditions. Um, and uh, they, they, I think through the web, through... Um, you got me there. I don't know what else, but through the web, I remember through the papers many years ago, or also through the word of connections, people that no other musicians will tell each other. That's the way I was in. When Jim Roth was the, the conductor, I knew about it and I went, and I've ever since been playing with them. To, obviously, somebody needs to know how to play an instrument. Any particular yeah, ones? I'm dedicated to it. Be very dedicated to it. And nowadays, there are auditions, as I say. And um, if you are dedicated, you are responsible, you love music, you can get me. Any particular instrument player that you need at the moment? At the moment, violins, <laughs> cellos, violas. Those are, I think, bassoon. No, bassoons we have. There's trombones, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure about that part. Okay, so if anybody plays an instrument, they should, should come and look you up. Come and try and see whether they are dedicated and they like it, and they should be part of it. Sounds great. Thank you for your time.